Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial. Guys, we're in Premiere Pro CC 2018, as you'll be able to see here, guys. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to relight dark footage or how to brighten dark footage. Okay, let's click off of that. So here we go, guys. I've got some stock footage selected, and I got this from Pexels Video or Video Pexels. And uh, if you guys want to follow along with me, just throw in any old footage. The darker, the better. And I'm going to show you how to relight this extremely easy it is going to save you a lot of hassle for those of you filmmakers out there i just i just drag and dropped it into the timeline just to create a sequence here but for you filmmakers out there that are out filming and you don't have the right lighting equipment or you're not sure if you should go out filming at night because you know you don't want dark footage let me show you guys there is a way to fix that and uh, not to worry so i've just dragged and dropped this into the into the timeline or the sequence here like i said and here we go we've got a picture a video of a of a house in the woods yeah kind of scary yeah what's up um, but uh, it's dark right and if in this case this is probably what I would want but for the demonstration purposes this isn't so I'm going to show you how to light this bad boy right up it's actually really easy guys uh, you want to go to your effects wherever your effects is located um, if it's not open automatically make sure the check mark is under effects here under window and then check mark by effects and then yeah actually you've already done it <laughs> but in this little bar here you want to type in lighting and i know you guys are thinking captain obvious is checking in uh drag and drop that on there and you get a little bit of what looks like a, a distorted flashlight effect this isn't what we're going for but do not worry there is a way around this now the next step is you want to go to effect controls and let's see what we got here it's just taking a second here and i'm going to just drop down opacity i'm going to draw i'm actually going to i'm going to open up lighting effects and this is where it gets good you want to go to light one drop that down and then watch you go from spotlight which is the default which i don't agree with it just seems kind of useless but you want to switch that over to directional and when you do that just the press of that one button this is an entirely different scene. This is lit entirely differently, and it's very, very convincing. So let's see what we got here. Just with that one little push down, one little button. Off, on, boom. It might be enough right there for what you're looking for. For those of you that want to go a little bit deeper down and you want to get it a little bit uh, brighter, for example, the, number, the thing you want to follow is the intensity here. So I'm just clicking on that, and I'm going to right slide it. Yeah, yeah, come on, Curtis. Slide it right and boom you can have as much light as you'd like and if i look at let's say let's just do it let's just really over light it just for you know demonstration purposes so let's say we've got an intensity of 50. so here is the unedited footage clicked off and now here is with the effect on and all you gotta do is toggle this little effects button to see it on and off on boom completely different off on guys that's it if you have some footage that needs relighting or you took it out at night and it was too dark out and you and you think you didn't get the the shots you wanted try this out i promise you this might save you a lot of pain a lot of frustration and that's it guys thanks for watching this quick tutorial i'll be back more with some more stuff shortly cheers